All right, making mead, uh, part two. We're gonna rack our mead. It's been sitting, uh, doing its primary ferment for two weeks now. Uh, we're gonna rack the gallons into the gallons and then progress on down the line. We're gonna clean these as we go and just reuse them because we're not ultra wealthy and have access to like five million uh, gallon sized bottles. We do have a lot though. That's true, we do have a lot. Uh, we will say that one of the meads did not make it. Um, it's true. It's the one in this country boy. It did not do hardly any bubbling. That was the one that was code red Mountain Dew. Yeah. All the other ones seem to be, they're still bubbling quite well. So um, we're probably going to go ahead and call it quits on the uh, the code red. But the rest of them are great. And we are going to take a little taste of each one. Well, might, might as well. So Get Radar. Some young mead in you. Radar has our traditional right there. And that's just uh, traditional mead with. Uh, some cinnamon sticks, as and you that, can see. That fits so well on there. At the bottom right here, and this is our uh, setup. Two dollar trash can. There you go. So we want to, the, the key is not to get any of the dead yeast from the bottom. Yeah. So that's all we need to do right now. What, what am I doing? Why am I doing it backwards? Yes, you are. I was about to say you're doing it backwards. <laughs> How does it taste? How does it taste, Radar? Not bad. This part will be sped up for you guys. We'll let them bubble a little bit, uh, and then we're ready to bottle. At some point, we'll probably put them in the fridge just to kill that yeast off. These things are still going real strong, uh, especially the uh, the Hawaiian Punch. Look, this is the color of the Hawaiian Punch. That's what color it is now. It's this one over here. <laughs> there's, a, there's a stark difference there. <laughs> Of course, we also added some, uh, what was that sugar that we had? Uh, uh, the uh, uh, sugar, sugar in the raw, pretty much. Yeah, it was yeah. like uh, Dulce. Dulce, sugar. that's Dulce. right. That, that company sent us uh, some really interesting sugar. Uh, while that bottle is uh, is cleaning, this looks so much better now. Uh, yeah, it does. There's a hair in it. <laughs> it adds flavor. <laughs> I mean, it's a sterile hair. Uh, we, we got just a little bit of the stuff that was left in that bottle uh, from the first bottle, so it's got a bunch of yeast in it. But it smells surprisingly good. It's like, it's super alcoholic and it's yeasty. It's honey too, you get a little honey. And there's, yeah, there's a, there's a nice little kick of honey. That's surprisingly good. I'm not, I'm not mad at that at all. Yeah, I mean, with these young meads, it's really gonna shine when it ages a year or two, but that's, that's you get a good feel of how it's going to turn out from the taste, at least the sweetness. That's the... decent. Like it's still super yeasty, but there's no like off flavors there that I was really worried about because it set it sat in such a cold spot for so long. I'm horrified of what we've done here, and yet <laughs> oddly curious, I aren't mean, you? I actually kind of like the color that this one turned. It's still, I, I, I don't can, hate this one. The bubbles are intense in this one. You can still see they're, it's still going pretty good. But it's time to get some of this dead yeast out of here. Yeah, otherwise it's going to get weird real fast. There we are. Okay, I think I've got the motion down now. Yep. That's an interesting flavor, I'm not going to lie. The, the flavor that came out of that was, um, it was unexpected. <laughs> This was this was uh, past its due date when we when we six, made it, six wasn't months, it. Six months past its due date. Oh, delicious! No, no, no. The, the green one was. This oh, is wait, the yeah, one. that's the, that's right. This I got the this blue one. one. At, I got this one at Kroger the day of. Yeah, if this works out. We're gonna go with the blue Hawaiian punch I hate or the that red Hawaiian punch. I hate that color a lot less all of a sudden. Like that doesn't look so bad. It's definitely cleared up a lot compared <laughs> to that one. We could always filter this through uh, like coffee filters. Uh, maybe on the, the uh, if we need to do third racking, which we probably will, because this stuff is pretty yeasty, um, maybe we'll filter it, cheesecloth or something. Yeah, looks good. Well, it doesn't matter, it's coming anyways. That's what she said. Oh, there's quite a bit of sediment in the bottom of this one. 
I mean, there wasn't a whole lot left in there other than sediment. <laughs> All right. Yep, that's that's what color that is. It smells like candy. Does it? It does. It smells like warheads or something. What does it taste like? It tastes like um it tastes like it tastes it tastes blue. It tastes real blue. Um, Is that a description? Like candy blue? Like, it tastes like... It tastes a little bit sour, and it's sweet, and it just tastes like the color blue, like little blue dum-dums. Is it going to pass as, as a um, mead, though? When is it, will it pass as mead? I mean, or as no. wine. It's uh, wine. Will it pass as an alcoholic beverage? It, it'll pass as an alcoholic. It's not very alcoholic, actually. The uh, the regular mead was like twice as alcoholic tasting as that is. For the really, really green one. The trick is to just get it, get it going and then put it immediately in the bottle. But you can't wait to get a taste of that. I sure can. In fact, let's see if this works. Are you trying to get without yeast? Smart move. There you go. Shove her back in there. That worked out pretty well. How's that smell? No. <laughs> smell. <laughs> 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 it smells like an uh, old candle. Like I don't know. It doesn't smell bad. It's it doesn't smell bad. It's very strange. It doesn't. It's hard to put my finger. It smells like it could be a Mad Dog 2020 product. That's what it smells like. Like it smells alcoholic and cheap. <laughs> and we, the thing is, it was not cheap. I think we just created Mad Dog. <laughs> could this have been the secret all along? <laughs> Hawaiian Punch, fermented, fermented Hawaiian fermented Punch. Fermented Hawaiian Punch. You you now get to enjoy MD twenty twenty. All right. It smells kind of like candy. It does smell kind of like candy. It worries me how much this smells like candy. It tastes kind of like candy. Oh, the aftertaste kind of lemony. It's kind of good. It is kind of good. I'm not happy about it, but it's kind of good. The sweetness level is right on, <laughs> on, on point on that, by the way. It's kind of good. Oh, uh, well, it, this is the one we used uh, the bruisey kit in. Uh, or, well, this is one of the ones we used the bruisey kit in. Oh, look at that. It looks like a uh, terrarium or something. The pineapple meat? Is this the pineapple one? Melomel, sorry. Pineapple melomel. The melomel. I think that's Jesus. what that is. Okay, that's just going to go in the star sand with the bun it's on it. either that... Or it is the NOS. I figure I'll be able to see whether there's pineapple. That looks like it might be NOS. That looks like a NOS color. I mean, we'll find out. Right, let's see. Actually, I can tell you right now. Uh, no, I can't. I can't tell. Nope. I think that is the NOS. Is this, 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 this is the NOS? I think it is the NOS. Because I think I saw a pineapple in that one. I mean... Ooh. This is the, this is definitely the NOS. It still smells just like NOS. <laughs> it's not a lot, but uh, this is an experiment. If it I works mean, out well, we'll go hard on the energy drinks. It was like four cans of NOS. Yeah, that's a lot of NOS. Man. It's Sixty-four ounces. It was so. like it was like twenty dollars in energy drinks. Woo! Yep, that's a thing. It doesn't smell alcoholic at all. I'll be surprised if this is alcoholic. Is it bad? I don't think I like that one. I'm not a fan of that one. That's a... Uh, oh, it smells a little boozy, but... It, it, it's, I don't like that at all. <laughs> it smells like shitty wine. It like, does. It's like Mad Dog or this something. Is, this is Mad Dog. This is what. This is how they make Mad Dog. It's not that bad. 
I don't think I like it. <laughs> it's not bad. It, um, it is a little boozy, but it's definitely not anywhere near that mead. That seems like a twelve to. That seems like a like six to eight percent, or that's what it tastes like right now. Delicious. Oh, that's terrifying. I don't like it at all. It's all the rotten pineapple mm. that's in there. <laughs> All right. Last one. Oh, rinse that hose out. Yeah. This one will probably be filtered. But it's oh, okay. Yeah. That's why we're going to rack it again. We can just pass it through some cheesecloth or something. It's... Look at look at all the stuff. You can see it coming coming through. Well, there's a lot of stuff in this mead, so... It's still going to be way better than what it is. That's a good color. We I should like definitely that. label these because these two are going to get very confusing. Uh I'm gonna let all this go through and then we'll filter it. We'll 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 rack it a second time here in a in a couple of weeks. We'll just we're not gonna film that part because it's happening right now. <laughs> ah help me. Lift it up. <laughs> How is that? Chunky. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get some two week old pie? Yeah. <laughs> nom nom nom. <laughs> you want to do that again for the camera? That tastes like orange chicken. <laughs> what? <laughs> orange? That tastes like a Chinese. That tastes like a Chinese food sauce. I'm not gonna lie. Try some of it. I will later, but. All right, that is uh, that is this episode. We racked our wine. It's in new uh, new carboys or whatever bottles, and. Uh, We'll see you guys here in another two weeks. See what it tastes like at that point. Uh, this is uh, this is Radar. Special K. signing out. Thanks for watching.